Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Wilson and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using Proxy Finder to find some anonymous proxies to use in my Scrapebox program. Um, but the thing is, it's not a, just a matter of finding the proxies, it's also a matter of testing the proxies as well. Um, what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to click I'm going to download Proxy Finder. I've already done it and set it up and everything. If you need Proxy Finder, follow the links in the box below and you should be able to find Proxy Finder. But if you have Scrapebox, you could just use that to get your proxies too. But I find for me that using Proxy Finder is easier for me to get just a handful of proxies, whereas Scrapebox would get you like a ton of proxies and it would take like a whole few days to test them out. And I don't recommend doing that because by the time you test them out, proxies can become, you know, not working anymore or they could change or, you know, I, just so many different things can happen. All right, so let's get started. This is going to take a few seconds. Um, I'm going to click find and it's going to load up a few proxies. Uh, I don't know where it gets it from. I, 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 I don't know. But it is very handy and it can be used in multiple applications. Now what you do is you just wait until the progress bar goes all the way across. And um, when, you, when you have that completed, you could save these proxies as a text file and then you can um, you know copy and paste them to the applications as you need fit or see fit that you need um, so we'll just wait for this to finish and um, I'll just quickly talk about some of the advantages of using a proxy um, first of all a proxy server verifies and forwards Incoming client requests to other servers for further communication. A proxy server is located between the client and the server where it acts as an intermediary between the two, such as a web browser and a web server. The proxy server's most important role is providing security. In the enterprise, a proxy server is used to facilitate security, administrate control, or caching services, among other purposes. In a personal computing context, proxy, proxy servers are used to enable privacy and anonymous serving. And that's basically what I detailed out um, in my page and all that. Now let's see where we are. Um, we have completed gathering the proxies, so I will click finish, then I will like save it. And I save it as proxies.txt, opens it into a text file as you can see here and then um, what I like to do is I like to copy that information and I'm going to take it over to my other program Scrapebox for testing. Alright what we have here is uh, Scrapebox you can you can find that in my description too it's a harvesting tool that is used for market research and uh, you know the web development and SEO industries so uh, if you have an SEO project or something of that nature you could reach out to me and I could help you with that but the groundwork of this is I like to load my proxies let's see here I, 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 I I'm gonna actually use a notepad file and I'm going to save my proxies on my desktop is proxies.txt yes I'm going to replace the file and I'm going to load those proxies into the scrape box all right now you don't want to just use them right off the bat. What you want to do is you want to test them and that's going to take a little while. So I'm going to click manage 
the manager window, the proxy manager window has all the proxies that I loaded. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click filter and there's an option to remove duplicates. So make sure there's no duplicates. And then I am going to, let's see here, show you guys the bottom of the window here. I'm going to test all proxies and see what we get. This is going to take a while. So I may just pause the video and then we may come back to it. You know what I mean? But it gives me a stats on all the IPs addresses, the IPs, uh, the proxy servers, you know, because we're starting with the proxy IP, the port, the country, the type, and what we are looking for. The reason I use this program to test it is because it's the most in-depth program to test proxies with. And what I'm looking for is Google test proxies, which are um, good for efficient market research. So I'm going to pause the video right here and I'm going to come back to it when this um, function finishes. All right. We are near completion of the testing and um, what we'll do is uh, we'll take a look at what we have and what we could use. And I'll tell you right off the bat, a lot of this we can't use because if you notice, it fails connection timeout, timeout, proxy leaks your IP, proxy leaks your IP. And then we got some decent ones where your IP is hidden, but then we get a 302, which is not good. So that one I can't use. That one I can't use. Most of them I can't use. What I have here is, I mean, if I want just anonymous, I can use these ones. But if I want to do more complex operations, then what I want to do is I want to use the the the, the uh, the proxies that have passed the Google test and scrape box proxy manager. Um, so I'm going to take only the ones. Let's see. I'm going to keep only the proxies which pass the Google custom test. And that's 61 of them that I could use. And then I can actually go further and I could sort by speed and I could use the fastest ones. Well, hey, um, and that's essentially, you know, it, you know, um, I start with, you know, a list of proxies that are not so good because there's just a whole bunch of them with different situations going on and I can narrow it down to the fastest and the <clears throat> and the most anonymous of proxy servers um, if you want more information on how you could do this or if you want me to do this for you you could contact me on my website in the box below and in the information of the web page be sure to subscribe like the video and share the video if you found this information beneficial. Um, I thank you for your time and have a great day.